Hey guys, what is going on? We just got into San Antonio. Okay, so not just. <laughs> just came out of my coma from getting into San Antonio. We flew all night. We ended up missing our flight yesterday. Um, so we flew all night and I didn't sleep. I just watched movies. So we got here and I was exhausted. So I passed out and now we are getting around and the first thing I do when I get into an area, if it's for a competition or I'm on prep, I pack all of this stuff and I bring it with me or I find things that I can make and then weigh out and make it very specific. But when I'm just traveling for a healthy lifestyle and making sure that I'm on track to reaching my goals, I will do some research either before I get here or when I get here and see if there's a grocery store, what restaurants are around. Sometimes they have some really great restaurants um, that you can get some proteins and healthy things and veggies and all that. But we found this place called Zedrick's and it's a meal prep, ugh, ugh. It's a meal prep business and um, they do meal prepping for you. So if you live in an area, a lot of places have something like it. I know in Hawaii there's a couple of them. They help you because you don't have to make it yourself and there it is, healthy food. Food prep is done. They make they make it so easy. So at this Zedrick's place, this meal prep place, they have a bunch of coolers and you can go in and choose from already made, already prepped meals that are healthy. Um, so we're gonna go check that out and load up for the week. Um, and then we'll probably go out to dinner each night. So we'll find a steakhouse and some good places. Um, and then Friday we'll probably have like just a cheap meal or a dirtier meal. <laughs> Something that tastes a little bit naughty. Um, how does that sound? <laughs> but it is all about preparation and planning and just kind of setting yourself up for success. So that is what we are trying to do without taking away from our trip and having fun and enjoying. And it's my husband's work trip, but we are all about moments and memories in life. So we are trying to just take in every moment we can and make it a little bit of a vacation um, and just kind of rest and relax and enjoy because I'm gonna be starting a prep soon and I'm gonna get really focused and It'll be a lot of hard work, but I'm really excited. Okay guys, let's get going. I'm gonna take you with me. This is our Turo car that we rented. Okay, so we just got back and we got a lot of food and it was amazing. Actually, they had military discount plus if you spent over $100, it was another discount. So 20% off, I think it came out to, I have the receipt, 90 some dollars. And I will double check that, but we did not think about how small our fridge is. So we have some friends here, so we might be asking to use their fridge, but we'll see how much we can get in there. So, pay attention how much fridge space you have, guys. All right, guys, there's plenty of space in here. Lots of room to spare for other things. So that worked out really well. I'm gonna pull them out and I'll show you guys later, but right now we are going to go see a movie. So, I will show you later what we got.
So I'm a little piggy and I already ate mine, but he is gonna eat his and I wanted to show you it. What is this one? Blackened chicken sandwich. This is the blackened chicken sandwich and it comes with this little small, what is this, like a? Bread. <laughs> it's like a thin bread. The buns. The buns, the, the skinny buns. And then that is a salsa and it has lettuce, tomato, and onion, and then the chicken breast. And then you heat this part up. Yeah. So I wanted to show you guys some of the things we got here at Cedrix. I think that's how you say it. Um, some of the meals. Now we bought 14 of them and already ate five, but I'm gonna show you what we have right now. So this one's a breakfast. Then some Thai chicken, some turkey ragu, green chili chicken enchiladas, flat iron steak with sweet potato hash, another Thai chicken, a turkey burger, spinach tortellini, and another spinach tortellini. So I wanted to show you guys the receipt real quick total for all 14 meals was $93. Now this had a military discount of 10% and then after you spent over 100 there, it was 10%, so 20% off. And 93 divided by 14 meals is roughly $6.60 some cents. Because I could do that in my head, of course. Oh, shoot. The secret's out, yes. Six dollars and sixty cents for each meal. That's a pretty good deal. That is actually an incredible deal. Six dollars and sixty cents for a meal that is clean and will keep you on track. Um, so if you guys are in the San Antonio area, you are lucky because this is here in San Antonio. Um, if you're traveling, check it out. Um, and actually, there are a lot of businesses like this all over the place. Um, so just check your local area because you never know there might be something like that check out meal prep services but this place um, in particular was really great because they just had coolers of it so you could go in and you could grab it on your lunch and they actually had a seating area with microwaves where you could go and heat it up and eat it there so it was super convenient I really loved it but <laughs> six dollars and sixty cents you probably spend more on your coffee so this is really cheap and it's clean and it's healthy so not all healthy eating is super expensive it's just kind of learning those tricks and knowing where to go stumbled on it uh, doing research online and it is a man who is 95 maybe 96 by now um, and his name is Barney and he was a plumber for his career for a long time and 
he started collecting used toilet seats and creating artwork out of them. I was reading the reviews on people who have gone to his museum, which I believe is run out of his garage, and uh, people were just raving about him and how wonderful he is and just how incredible, incredible of an experience it is to sit there and listen to his passion and his stories and how each toilet seat has its own unique story to it and where he drew his inspiration from. So Barney has 1,200 toilet seats um, decorated in different art, uh, different themes, and we just called him now to let him know we were on our way and he was soldering some art for the new toilet seat as we speak. So I, I can't wait. Oh yeah. And he had a 74 year marriage to his high school sweetheart. Um, she, I believe, passed away not too long ago. Um, I read all this online. I haven't met him. We just talked to him once on the phone. But I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be quite a unique experience. Now, since you live in Hawaii, let's look and see if it's uh, worth it. There it is, right there. Okay, you want to take it off of that wire, just lift it up if there's a hook there on that. Lift it up and unhook it and bring it off. Yep. You can sign here okay. or over on the other side. Okay. okay. know how to explain to you what this experience meant to me it was absolutely incredible and if you guys live in San Antonio or if you're ever traveling to San Antonio I highly recommend that you check out Barney's toilet seat museum he is just an amazing person and there's just something so special about listening to somebody tell their stories and share their experiences and showcase their art it was just a unique once in a lifetime opportunity and that is it for this vlog guys thanks for staying with me and watching if you haven't yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the new videos that i'm coming out with and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up because it helps my channel and it brightens my day to see your thumbs up and i would love to hear from you so comment away in the comment section whether it be videos you want to see if you've seen barney's art museum things you love to do in san antonio or just to say hey i love the comments anyways guys i will see you in the next video and thanks for watching